Hey Nadia. Hi, how are you? Hello, Taman Taman. Namasaya Jason Song. Today I'm here at Jembatan 5. It's an Indonesian restaurant here in Philadelphia. I will have so much food to share with you guys. I can't wait. But first, let's talk to Nadia, the owner. I'm originally from Surabaya. Husband's side of family is from Jakarta, it's in West Java, hence the name Jembatan Prima, uh, which bridge number five, is actually a name of neighborhood back in Jakarta. In the back of our mind, we always wanted, thought it um, a business, while we're still able to feel like, you know what, why not, let's try and go ahead and introduce our food in the, in the neighborhood. All right, let's try out the Sayur Lode first. Ooh. This has like a coconutty smell to it, like a creamy coconut. Mm, I already know I'm gonna like this. This sort of reminds me of the Soto Betawi on how it looks, maybe the smell too. The broth first, guys. Always the soup first. Mmm. What? Wow, guys, it has like a coconutty kind of spicy, creamy thing going on. I love this already. <sighs> guys, it's raining a little bit outside and I'm having this nice hot soup. Do you guys like to have soup when it's raining outside? I sure do. So good. I could already see some corn, tofu, eggplant, string beans, pumpkin or squash in there. Mmm. And the corn is sweet too, guys. Wow. Wow, that broth is everything. Mmm. Uh, there's some tempeh in here too, guys. I've never had tempeh like this. Mmm. This one is soft and it didn't have that crunchy you know the fried tempeh this one it, it just looks like it was just cooked the soybean really good with the broth guys all right here we go we're gonna have everything in one bite don't forget the tempeh and i have the corn in the other hand mm. <laughs> guys when do you usually have the sayur lode i feel like you have this any time of the day but you know what it's raining outside especially love this so good guys did you like this video so far make sure you hit that thumbs up it really helps to promote this video to other people all right so this is the bakwan jagung it looks like it's some uh crispy fritters i believe there's some corn and shrimp inside the batter it looks super crispy so it comes with this sweet chili sauce and this is sambal is there anything special with the sambal Okay, so Nadia gave me a thing of sambal. She said it's pretty common as well. And it looks like we have some pickled cabbage, it looks like. Mmm. 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 I think it's like a minced shrimp with some corn in there. Who doesn't like shrimp? Who doesn't like corn, guys? And who doesn't like fried foods? I love fried foods. So let's try this with a sweet chili sauce. Super thick sauce, guys. Perfect combination. Mm -hmm. The sauce isn't too sweet and it isn't too spicy either. I personally don't like overly sweet things, but if it's in right balance, I love it. And I think it worked so well together. All right, let's try with this. Mm, awesome. That has like a tart kind of flavor. Maybe vinegar. So good. All right, let's try it with this sambal, guys. Mmm. Mmm. Super intense, spicy flavor. I love that. This has kind of like a shrimpy concentrated you know that seafoody shrimpy kind of taste to it and it has the perfect amount of heat to it all right you guys know what i'm gonna do right check it out mixed 
Mmm. I love how the two sauces mix. The sambal and the sweet chili sauce. Awesome combination. You got the nice heat from the sambal, but you got the nice sweet flavor of that sauce. Kind of cool it down. Great balance. I think you should have this for lunch, at least that's for me. Maybe it's too heavy for a breakfast snack, or maybe you could. Let me know in the comments, when do you guys usually eat this? But if you guys come across this, definitely check it out. Awesome. If you guys are in the Philly, New York, or the DC metro area, and you want me to feature your cooking, let me know. I'll come by and we'll film, we'll hang out, and I'll feature your food. So let me know. All right, check this out, guys. This is the Ayam Rika Rika. It's on this like sizzling plate. It's like a steel plate and it comes with a side of rice. Guys, this looks super spicy, but I love spice. Check it out. Mmm. Guys, this has like a tomato-y kind of spicy chili kind of mixture to it. Excellent. I'm not joking when I say this, it's just so good. This reminds me of how my mom makes her chicken. She makes it just like this. I'm gonna have to save some and bring it back home and give it to my mom. She's gonna be surprised. So good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ultra tender. It's not even super tender, it's ultra tender, guys. Wow. So soft, so delicious. Whenever you chew, you could kind of get some more of those juices in between those crevices. Awesome. Okay, this is plain rice. You're probably supposed to mix it. You guys mix it. I know some of you guys mix it out there and some of you have it separately. Which team are you guys? Mmm. So good. Let's mix it up for team mixing. Got some of that chicken. It's got a carrot too. And let's mix it all in there, guys. Mm. My mom's really gonna like this. I can't believe how similar it is. It's so good. All right, let's check this out, guys. I see a bottle of hot sauce. Get some hot sauce. Get some chicken. Some of that juice. All right, here we go. Mm. Now I think the sambal is a little bit spicier, so let's try it with that. <laughs> mm. I think they both have different heat and flavor profiles. Awesome. This one is a little bit uh, more runny and not as concentrated, but the sambal is super concentrated and you could taste uh, that shrimp. Honestly guys, I love the sambal. I think that sambal, I feel like it could be added to anything, especially if you like uh, spicy foods. For today's weekly shout out winner, it goes to Sinyo Priest. Thank you so much for all your comments and your support. It really helps out. I love your comments, especially about me taking the big bite. It's called the everything bite, and I'm glad you noticed. All right, check it out, guys. This is a tea bottle. I believe the literal translation is tea bottle. It's supposed to be a jasmine sweet tea. It's not super sugary. It has a nice tea flavor, really smooth. Mm. Super cold. I like how it's a nice way to cool everything out, especially that spicy uh, sambal and chicken that I just had. Very good. Uh, they say if you're with your buddies and you guys agree to something, they're, they're like, toss. Oh, toss. High five. Toss. How do you say? Toss. Yeah, toss. toss. This food is amazing. I'm gonna be back. Okay. Toss. <laughs>
I know you guys have been saying that in the comments, toss. I guess you gotta do the high five and say it at the same time, am I right? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so this is the Kretia Goreng Sapi. Ah, guys, this is the flat noodles. It has some beef and some vegetables in it. The base is from the soy sauce. It's from the ketchup manis. Wow, look at these noodles. It's so flat and thick. I love it. Mm. It isn't super salty. It's the perfect balance of flavors. I love that. It has some kind of bits of garlic, I believe. And the noodles, there's so much width to it. It captures so much flavor every time you bite it. And I love that mouthfeel. It has like a slightly oily uh, kind of coating that covers your tongue while you're chewing on the uh, wide noodles. Excellent, I love that. Guys, check out these huge beef pieces. Mmm. Super tender, super beefy. <laughs> All right, let's get it on one bite. Guys, you could taste the beef flavor throughout the noodles. It's integrated into it. I think when they saute the noodles with the ketchup manis and the beef, it all tastes like the flavors are working together. Pretty good. Guys, it has some bean sprouts in there as well. And it has some onions, I believe. It could be cabbage. Let me try. It's definitely not onion, and it's definitely not cabbage. Mm. All right, check it out, guys. So let's take one bite with some sambal. Mm. Sambal, perfect on anything. Let me know if you guys agree. Let me know in the comments. All right, guys, hold on. Let me try something. Some rice, some chicken, some kwetia, some beef, some bakwang jagung, and some sambal. Let's have everything in one bite. Mm. All right, maybe that wasn't such a good idea. Everything was so good, but it was kind of weird. Just eat it individually, <laughs> like how it's meant to be eaten. Overall guys, so good. Every dish that I had, excellent. But guys, today, if I had to pick my favorite, I would definitely pick the Sayur Lode. Super good. That coconut broth, especially with this uh, weather outside, something about it just hit home immediately. And the fragrance and the taste, love it. You know, I'm kind of surprised because I'm usually a meat eater, and I figured my favorite would be some kind of meat dish. But today, this veggie soup was amazing. It was perfect. Jembetan 5, awesome guys. If you're out in uh, Philly, definitely come by. Check this out. To everybody, all Indonesian people, whenever you come here, stop by Jembetan 5 and then you know, we're gonna have fun. <laughs>